Alright. Now, I'm Yasharala. Before we go into this lesson, before we continue this lesson, so like we give our honor and glory and all praises to Yahweh, so Kal, Halal, Yam, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakradash. This lesson is honestly continuing on, on yesterday, what is which is scriptures, which we read, which was clear enough, which it says, to love not the world, neither the things that are of the world. And if any man love the world, the love of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai is not in him. And the reason why, because it has been weighing in my heart for the longest while to, 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 to really bring out, as I brought it out, something has been in my heart and just weighing, like, I still have more to speak on it to be exact. So I just say, Lord, might, might as well continue on a part two and bring it out into a lesson regardless, right? So when they go into First Corinthians, chapter, Second Corinthians, Salakia, which gives the understanding, it says to separate yourselves when, when you're going to, I think it's 17. It says, 17 and 18, it says, Wherefore, come out from among them. Come out from among them and be ye separate. Yeah, for the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, said the Lord, Salakia, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and touch not the unclean things, and I will receive you. Now, you have to understand right now. Now I'll be saying this world, this earth is filthy, full of wickedness. This world is full of wickedness. Daily as I go, as I, I walk on the road, and I, if I had a good on point, you are seeing the wickedness daily. People don't know themselves anymore. They are just going by like puppets. Following the, the, the customs and the way of this of this he, um, hedonistic world. It has transformed to that. Everywhere we are, I go, like I've been in a situation I've seen people dressing skimpy, who are um, aggressive, who watch each somebody to rob them. Man going behind the next man, he partner back with he woman. Watch me, this world so... But the laws itself... Has changed in so much. The laws of the land has changed so much to benefit the wicked acts. And this is why the reason why we have to come out of this world. Love not this world. It says in 18 and, <clears throat> and will be a father unto you. Right? And ye shall be my sons and daughters, said Yahweh, power. So, you have to come out of this world. This world is not for us. This world is not for us. Even in time, of, um, even in, when you go back into Ezra, right? Chapter, <clears throat> oh God, chapter 6. And verses pass it twenty one it says and the children of Israel which children of Israel Salakia which will come again out which will come again out of captivity and such and all such as had separated themselves unto them from filthiness from the filthiness of the heathens of the land it says to seek Yahweh power of Israel. Uh, Salakia, okay. right? And this is what I'll be saying at this point, at this current point, as you can see, they are coming out of ca captivity and they went back to re establish their, their understanding with Jehovah, with the living power. They had once again had to separate and come back to the living power. <clears throat> because when you look at this world at this point in time it is not benefiting us no way form or fashion to live an ungodly life to live a life of sin of filthiness so this will have nothing for us but more or less to prepare us to refine us and those, those that are capable of refining, <clears throat> will, 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 will or are refined. 
And those who are not given that spirit will continue in their sin and will eventually be destroyed. So, I want to tell you, this word is very horrendous, but I'm telling you, it, it's like, there, there isn't even a word to describe how corrupted this world is. It needs a purge. It needs a purge. This, e this system of Esau, Edom here is doing nothing but making things worse. You are normalizing abominable acts. You are literally putting um, traces of pork, or pig minerals, or wh whatever you want to call that nastiness, abominable minerals, in your food and vitamins and nutrients. And we are consuming that and thinking we are okay and we are keeping... You all don't know how defiled this world is, isn't it? The more I go on TikTok and the more I go and do some research and read this, the more upset and the more angry I get with this, with this current rulership. I really don't like Esau. I hate them with a passion. It will never change. They are purposefully forcing us to consume abominable things. Making us what? Unclean. Making us abominable. Def defiling our temple. The more you go and do research, the more you understand. A good example, many minerals that you get is from unclean insects that we are not supposed to be consuming. Are we not? It's clear as day. Do we pay attention to these things? No. This world is not for us. This world is not for us. The more we stay in this world, the further we become, we get destroyed. And eventually... If Yahweh Bashem Yahushua don't send his son to, to, to take, out, out, take us out of this nonsense, we will. And that's why I'm telling you, I'd rather wait than to live a life of, of, of sin, a, live, a life of filthiness. I'd rather wait. <laughs> when I go into Psalms chapter. 1 and verse 1, it says, well, titled, the, the, the righteous and the wicked contrasted, right? It says, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. It says, but his delight is in the law of Yahweh and his law that he meditate day and night. Because as far as we know, the law, when you go into um, Psalms chapter 119, I know it, I know it in the hundreds. Uh, I think I had it highlighted in the next, next app, boy. Move this out for a second. Uh, hold on, hold on. Let's see. Highlighted it in the next app. That's not. It's like it. 119. Okay, I'm not. I ain't trying to pause my video on accident. 119. I go from 1. Okay, not that. Wait, no, that one is, no. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I thought it was. I thought it was 51. No, it's not 51. Actually. 51 is a very good represent, representation of a lot of being a teacher. Uh, 142 it says thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness and the law is the truth and even in 51 it says thou art near o yahweh o yahweh and or oh, and all thy commandments are truth and that's how we separate ourselves through our belief and faith in Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, that we will continue to do the law such and commandment that he give diligently seek him because even in understanding, thy law is the truth, the scriptures tell you what? The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom. And a good understanding have all they that do his commandments.
I, on, there's a precept I believe I could have find right here. That way, exactly that way it says here, depart from me, ye evil doers, for I will, I, um, right, for I will keep the commandments of the Most High, Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Because that's what separates us from this ungodly world. Remember, we fell from the time of Adam. And we really fell off bad. And there were a few that was, account, was, was counted, um, I would say, worthy in his eyes, which was Noah coming down into Abraham. So, when they really watch, we really fall off real bad to the point where he even shortened our lifespan. <sighs> so, now is the time that we separate ourselves. Because we've seen everything that has been written is coming and has came to pass already. This is the time for us to separate ourselves. Because this rulership right here that is of Esau, Edom at the point in time, which was given to him, is coming to an end. It's going to be taken away from him. And part of that is going to be that, that, that destruction coming, them plagues. So all your watch me, right now is the time that for us to really crack down and say to yourself, do I really want to face that destruction? Do I really want for the most high to not to turn away from me and say, no, nah, I don't want this man. But I want to save all of them a minute, but I just don't want tea. I don't want tea. I don't want tea. Your creator, your power, your father. As we continue in Psalms chapter 1 and verse 3, it says, And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring it forth his fruit in his season. His leaves shall um, his leaves also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. It says, The ungodly, you see the difference? There's always a separation. However, however, the ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away, blow it away. Meaning, he wants nothing to do with that. And if you want to partake of these ungodly acts and continue to show yourself in this world and love this world and be of this world, then what would you expect to happen in the time of that particular trap? Jacob Shabbat reaching its climax. When them ICBM started to crack down, when the rain, the true rain of terror began to come down. What would what you feel going to really take place? You feel you're gonna be saved still? So you can do whatever you feel and please and mean to. And you still grin and be saved. Really. It says, Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the, in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. Listen to this main point. For, for Yahweh knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. So you joining yourself to this world and conforming to this world and being like, you know what? Boy, I only have one life. Let me live my best life and do what I want and this and that and blah, 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 blah. Get yourself in all kind of Nancy stories. Thinking that, hey, I live in this good life. I have in all these people that I know. I have in a good few wealth and whatever the case is. Becoming prideful, becoming greedy, becoming selfish. You understand? Being disobedient to the laws of, of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Confirm yourself to the, 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 the abominable acts to continue to receive that wisdom. Turning away, turning away from the true power. Even, even if he give you a chance to come in. You really think that you going and make it after that on this side? You really think that you going and buy bankers, go and save you from that incoming destruction? It doesn't matter where you go. It doesn't matter where you go. Your chastisement is going to ramp up to your destruction. That's why in Acts chapter 2 and verse 14 it says, 
Save yourself. Let me get. Okay, let me grab it in this side. Come on, to go to the definition of that word to be X. 2 and 40. Not 14, not 4 0. It says, let me put it on this side. And with many other words did he testify and, it, and, and, and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this, un, from this untoward generation. What does that word mean? Untoward. Untoward means unfavorable, unruly, troublesome. Disobedient. Let me get in the arm, the NLT. And the arm, not the NLT, in the, 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 the trial definition. Wicked. Crooked. Cursed. Need I say more? Let me just get a translation. Strong's G, 4646, Scalias. Scalias. Right, you see, now is not the time for us to be falling into, into these, these wicked actions at this current point when the family will begin to kick off. It's going to be literally cut completely. Now is not this time. Now is not the time for that. No, it's not the time for that. You want to continue to abide by the laws of this society, which is changed exactly against the laws of Yahweh Hashem You want to continue with that? You know it wrong, Anna. You know it wrong. But your faith so low that you want to continue with that nonsense and expect to receive everlasting, well, I mean salvation on this side, expect, expect to, to, to be saved on this side, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. We have to cleanse ourselves from this, 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 this wickedness from this, of this world. We touch. We reform ourselves, remove ourselves from these things. Let me get a precept to that. Second Corinthians chapter 7 and verses 1. Paul reveals his heart. It says, Having having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh of this world. Of this world. And spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of Yahweh. It's as clear as day. And how do we cleanse ourselves? I mean, it already tells you, but let me, let me really get a next precept to, to, to back that up. Um, okay, but it says, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? It says, By taking heed to the and uh, there to according to thy word. That's how you cleanse your way. That's why when you go into Ephesians, it says this Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 26. It was clear. It says, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. This wise counsel. By receiving, if you have a call you to receive this wise counsel, snatch it up. This will have nothing to offer but sin and filth. It must be destroyed. It must be renewed. This side especially. This whole system, Babylonian system, must go, it must perish, it must be destroyed.
So if you had, if you have given, were given that opportunity to receive this wise counsel, take it. Because if, um, when you go into sec, no Ecclesiastes Selakia yeah, fifty one, the scripture has made it clear. It says, "Draw near unto me, ye and learn, and dwell in the house of learning." And what is the reason for that? So he could what? So he could do what? Let me read it in 22 to 24. Let me grab it. Um, it says that he put off concerning um, f- um, the former conversation, the old man which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. It says be and be renewed in the spirit of the mind of your mind, Salakia. Yeah. And verse 24 it says, And that ye put on the new man, which after the most high is created in righteousness and in true holiness. That's the purpose. To separate ourselves from this world. <clears throat> Everything that Esau and Edom have put in this world is designed to, 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 to lead us away from the truth. All these carnalities that we face every day. You don't think many of our brothers can be like, you know what, boy? It's it easier to do this. No, we don't care about how easy it is. The aim at the end is to finish that race, to cross that finish line. I'm saying all is to see. <clears throat> if you truly have the heirs to receive this, then it is your time to make that change. Because if you are given the heirs to receive this and this happened to resonate with you, this is your time. To make that change. Only a how about I could call you into this. So if you are able to begin to receive this wise counsel. Go further into it. Scripture says make your call on election show. So you receiving this wise counsel. You're going to be standing and just remain there. Not try to read or understand nothing. Not go through the lessons. Nothing, no breakdowns, nothing at least. At least something. If it resonates with you, this is your time to make that change. Through the strength and the power of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Because when that destruction comes, trust it. Trust me, it's coming very soon. So when a destruction comes, you would wish that you had listened to these men sighing and crying on the, on, the four, on the corners of the earth, telling you what's going to happen to Babylon, telling you what's going to, what's going to happen to the West, telling you what's going to happen to us, our people, the children of Israel. The Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Indians, and Amerindus, Salakia. And the forefathers who go back to Jacob, even though some of us might look like heathens. So right now, as we continue to sound that alarm, right, of all these incoming dangers, and telling you, hey, come out of this world. Love not this world. This world has nothing to offer. It needs to be removed. This system, the, the laws, everything needs to be renewed. Perish and renewed. Back to its original estate. Where the Israelites being the, 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 the leaders of this of this earth. Starting with Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And then going down into the um the 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 144. One the 144,000. The elect. Then onto the tabernacle of David. And then onto the rest.
this this is not a time that we should be lying down here and playing around. This is not the time. This is not the time. The more and more and more I, I, I show people about um tell people this truth and bring this truth onto people is the more people literally sky like I want to be like, well, you know what it does. I hey watch me. I do really this is me being honest with you. I do as much as I care. If you choose if you choose to be an unbeliever, I don't I don't really give a damn. You will perish in your unrighteousness. It just that is just all it is. There's nothing for you but for you to perish. Because you're you are not in the right state of mind at any point in time. If you still don't believe. This this adjustment again. This incoming danger is coming. That Revelation chapter 18 and verses 4, 4 said this. And I heard an, another, a, another voice of heaven saying, Come out of, my, of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sin, and that ye receive not of her plagues. You understand face? It says, For her sins reached the heaven, reached unto the heaven, and the most high had remembered her iniquities. Right? And when they go into um six, let me read that last piece. It says, Reward her as she reward as, as she rewarded you. And double unto her as um as her double according to her works in the cup which she had filled to her double and we know Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai had not forgotten and we know Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai at this time it is known as the time of vengeance You understand what I'm saying? When they go into um, Jeremiah chapter 51 and verses 6, it made it so clear. It says, Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not, be not cut off in her iniquity. For this is the time of Yahweh's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. He will reward, he will pay, he will literally pay her the reward that she was deserving to have. Which is which is that which is what? Thus saith Yahweh, behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me a destroying wind. That ICBM, the effects of that blast, those blasts that was given in the dream, which I I I I, 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 I had to expound upon. I, I, um, one of my friends hit me a dream and it was scary. She said, as she, her, as she said, and I quote, right, that when the blast hit, it shook the ground, it shook the earth, and. Coming out of that, what was a great heated wind? She, the source, the sea coming from a, from, from at least a few a mile away, and everything in, it, in, in its path was sure destruction. No one survived it. The only thing that she could have done was grab her son and put him in some um, concrete thing and block off and block him off from that blast. And guess what? Within that, she got up. As she received the, the lash of that wind that began to burn, she got up and she got up with pains all over her body. That should tell you by itself how destructive this wind is. So, that when you go to second edge, it tells you as clear as possible. Second edge Chapter 15 
And verse 5, Behold, saith Yahweh, I will bring plagues upon the land. What is that plague? The sword, famine, death, and destruction. Going down, are you jumping down to... Eleven and twelve. It says, "But I will eleven. I will bring them with a mighty hand and stretch out arm and smite Egypt with plagues." And we know America is also known as spiritual Egypt or Egypt, to be exact, because they follow. They they have many of the ordinances. They follow many of the um the customs. Example. Homosexuality. Major fact, a big one too. There's a much more, but I'll just give you a broad example for, for the simples to understand. It says, and I will destroy all of the land thereof. All of the land thereof. No one is going to survive that. But the elect. So I pray I'm part of that number, honestly. That's why when you go back into the scriptures, we're going to reiterate one more time on it. Where it says, and I hope this really and truly resonates with you. It says, right? At the end of the day. It says, to love not the world, neither the things that are of the world. It says, if any man love the world, the love of Yahweh, the Father, is not in him. And if the love of the Father is not in you, Yahweh is not in you, then you will definitely receive that plague, that destruction. So, to the children of Yasharala, this is only speaking to the children of Israel that is still living of this world and being deceived and, 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 and enjoying the carnalities of this life. Those that had the ears to receive it, come out of it. Judgment is near. Come out of it before it's too late. So Shalom. Yasharala, Gal Halal Yam Yahawa, Bahasham Yahawa Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. We give that but honor to the apostles and prophets and elders of GMS Club, but in our great meals, so for the being for the 100% truth of my currently edified on that. As well as like many brothers, we can like many, should shout out to them, shout out to the elect, shout out to the, um, to the one, to the time in the call of David. And I hope this lesson, I hope this lesson was, resonates with you. I hope it does. Because there's nothing much more we can say. Our people are corrupted, our people are defiled and choosing to be defiled or, or blinded that they remain defiled through Yahweh. Our people are gone. Many of our people, the two thirds of our people are gone. It's evident, evidently showing day by day. So, Jalwam. <sighs>